What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special video for me. I've been waiting a very, very long time for this to happen. It's been almost a year since I ordered the first part for this bike and uh, I'm stoked to be making a new BMX project today. It's over to the left of me, but firstly, let's just check out my other bikes that I have right now. So yeah, we're here in my super messy garage, but uh, I'm doing a lot of things right now, so. First up, we have my X Games gold medal bike. So this is what I won my first ever X Games gold on. I thought I would just uh, retire it and keep it exactly how it is. Uh, it was really hard for me to not use any parts of it for this next bike, but uh, I think the only thing I've used are these Thai uh, spindle bolts, which are really hard to get your hands on. But the whole bike is basically Hyper and Snafu. I think I have a profile stem and uh, other than that, it's pretty much all Hyper and Snafu. I think my pedals are Colt pedals and I'm like addicted to these pedals to be honest. I can't ride any other one, they feel just so weird. But let's weigh this bike up first and see how much it weighs and uh, then we'll move on to the next bike. But this thing is super light, don't, don't get me wrong. All my bikes are super light because I don't run brakes and stuff like that, but uh, I'm curious to see how light I can get this other bike that I've been working on for nearly a year now. But uh, let's have a guess how much this first X Games bike's gonna weigh. All right, kind of awkward, but I gotta weigh myself first. This is the only way I can weigh it, really. So, uh, I am 83.7 kilos today. Oh, and I just worked out, thank gosh, but uh, let's pick up the bike and weigh it now. Alrighty, so 83.7 without the bike. And then, what am I with it? 93.5 quick maths what is it alrighty I quickly did the maths and that's at 9.8 kilograms for the X Games gold medal bike and uh, just for four on my base weight I am holding a camera so I maybe maybe I'm not that fat but oh well but uh, yeah that's pretty light man 9.8 kilograms I'm not sure in pounds what that is but I can quickly search that up for you just give me one sec 9.8 kgs to lbs that is 21.6 pounds for all you Americans. So very, very light, but I don't think it's as light as my new bike. Well, my old new bike. So let's weigh this one up, but let's check it out first. Alrighty, so next up we've got the Jet Fuel bike. This is what I'm currently riding and probably will be riding for the next X Games and next Nitro Tours. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I'm comfortable with. But the biggest difference between this one and the X Games bike is I have a, uh, the Snafu top loader stem, and obviously it's different color, jet fuel, and I got different wheels. I'm not sure if these ones are lighter. I know that the uh, X Games um, hubs and wheels are more expensive, but I think these might be lighter because they're the profile minis. Both those bikes have tie parts, tie spindle, uh, a few of its tie bolts. What else? Oh, this one I didn't have on before, but new. I have these new Tubo Lido um, tubes. I'll, I'll show you a quick look. So this is the Tubo Lido tube. It's super weird. Like I'll show you. Ready? Uh, oh yeah, look. Like it's so weird, but it's so light, and they're actually more durable. But uh, they are like sixty dollars. So hopefully they last me because I do go through tubes a little bit. But shout out to them for sending me a box, and uh, they're super light. So I, I'm stoked, and I'm gonna run them on this bike now. I don't usually run them, but we'll see how they go. But let's weigh this uh, jet fuel bike and see how much it weighs. All right, so we were, what, 83.7 before? All right. 93, 93 flat right there. Go, quick maths, quick maths, go for it. All righty, so maths with our Willy. Sorry to school you all, but um, yeah, that's 9.2 kilograms for the jet fuel bike. So 0.5 kilograms lighter than the X Games bike. So it might not seem like much, but half a kilo is actually pretty heavy. Um, especially if you're like whipping a bike around. I know that kind of sounds like nitty bitty, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you feel the difference, I think, kind of. If you're doing like cash or whip bar, you probably feel the difference, but it's actually sometimes better to have more weight. I'm not complaining about bikes being heavy, but uh, yeah, it's just for a little bit of study. But obviously this bike has the um, really light tubes, which shave actually a, a fair bit of weight and uh, a few different things, so. We gotta add that weight on, so that's what I've usually been riding, but there you go. Right now, 9.2 kilos, and that is, in pounds, 
just over 20 pounds. So it's 20.2 pounds for all you Americans. But now we're getting to the big finale. And uh, that is this bike over here to my left, which I'm going to show you right now. Mmm, check this bad boy out. There you go. Look at this thing. It is looking so beautiful. It's obviously not finished yet, but I do have the parts to finish it with me over there. But uh, as you can see, we got the snafu bars. We have a profile top loader stem with tie bolts. I've even got um, carbon fiber headset um, spaces. Not sure on the headset. I think it might. Yeah, it's a snafu headset. Coming down, we got the snafu forks, and then the thing that took me a year to get. So this frame is a Hyper Logan Martin frame, exact same specs, except it's titanium, full titanium, and uh, it's a lot more expensive than a normal frame. It actually costs more than that bike probably over there put together. Well, nearly, but uh, 2,000 US dollars, yeah. A hole in my pocket, but I wanted to experiment. I wanted to do some cool experiments with BMX bikes for you because I know I have BMX um, subscribers. So this is for you guys. I invested some money and hopefully I can learn some new well first out of it. But let's keep going with this bike. Full titanium hyper uh, Logan Martin frame. And then we've got the colony plastic pedals because they're actually the lightest plastic pedals I could find. I Probably won't ride them though because they're a bit small for me. I'll probably put my Colt ones back on. And then we've got the Snafu crank arms. And uh, I got, actually got an alloy um, spindle bolt, which is lighter than a Thai one. And then I got a Thai spindle in there. I think it's BSD. Snafu 20, a 25 tooth sprocket. I actually didn't do... <laughs> I usually run a 28 tooth, but... For the sake of shaving weight, I got a 25 tooth sprocket. So that's how OCD I went into this thing. And then we've got the um, snafu seat. It's like one piece, so there's no like um, pivotal or anything like that. It's just one piece. I actually really like these, so shout out to snafu for making one piece seats. That's about it for now. Oh, I got the, the snafu bars, obviously, and snafu bar ends. But you can see the kind of look I'm going for. It's like a chrome and tie look. And over here, I've got some new wheels that actually just arrived and I haven't seen them at all yet. I thought I would film this whole video first and then get my actual reaction to getting them because the boys at Lux BMX store hooked it up and they actually helped me uh, get a lot of these parts. So shout out to them. Shout out to Tubo Light for these uh, tubes that are gonna make it even lighter. And then also Alienation, uh, Mike Akranz, he sent me some rims, which are like the lightest rims ever. And I actually use them on every one of my bikes. It's like the uh, Alienation, let me just show you. Like, why am I talking? Let's get the wheel and I'll just speak then. So let's check out these wheels. Alrighty, here we go. Radness inside. Shout out to Lux BMX store. I gotta open this and I don't have hands, but maybe I can do it one-handed. Nope. Let me just do this real quick. I I'll, I'll feel myself from afar. Yes. Yeah, baby. Oh, come here, beautiful. Oh, this is the back wheel. Oh, yeah. So nice. Get the front wheel out. Wow, that's probably the most beautiful wheel I've ever had in my life, to be honest. Ah, oh. ooh, phew, ooh, all right, here we are. This is actually a new alienation rim. I've never had it before. It's lighter than my normal one, so I'm not even sure what it's called, but <laughs> it's the new, I'm not even sure. It's just the new alienation uh, front wheel, so don't run this thing on the back, but uh, this is the Skylark alienation rim, and these are both laced to profile minis that are polished, obviously, and they have the tie axles and tie drive i believe so yeah these really um put a hole in my pocket but so damn worth it because they are so beautiful let's get these wheels made up i'm not going to bore you with that i'm putting um khe tires on them and i'm actually going to put these really skinny ones on it first just to weigh it but then i'm most likely going to change it because i hate skinny tires but for the, for the sake of this video we're doing everything the lightest all right so let's get into it
So just when I thought life was great, I freaking can't get this on. And my mate Gecko has my tire levers. I'll keep trying. One hour later. I'm literally gonna cry. I don't have my plastic tire irons because Gecko has them, so I've just scratched my new rim. <sighs> so angry at myself. Like, god damn it. I put like Nico over it to hopefully cover it up, but whatever. Only I'm gonna notice it. This side's fine. Finally got the freaking tire on though, so let's keep going. Alrighty, wheels are done and dusted. And I'm pretty done and dusted too, to be honest, but we're gonna keep going. We're just around the corner from being finished, so I'm gonna chuck these wheels on and we're gonna look at the final product and then weigh it up. Oh, but first, let's weigh how much these wheels and tires weigh just alone. All right, first up, we got the back wheel. Obviously the heavier one, but there you go. 1.228 on the back wheel. It's incredibly light and I've got the small tire on this one. And I didn't want to stuff around with the small tire on this, so I put a slightly wider tire. So this wheel is going to be a little bit heavier than what it would be if I had the smaller tire on it, but I like a fatter tire on the front anyway. And it's 1.159. Very nice. Now let's get this on the BMX and weigh the whole thing. Alrighty, so two hours of building a bike, one hour of putting on one tire. I finally finished the lightest BMX bike I've ever owned. Let's check it out. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Do you like it? Alrighty, there you have it, and uh, now it's the time you've all been waiting for. It's time to weigh this thing and see how much the total weight is. And first of all, I'm just gonna do the old scale thing. I'll weigh myself again because maybe I've lost some weight trying to put that uh, front tire on because I sweated about a liter trying to do it. So let's weigh myself and then weigh the bike. I love I actually lost weight. No, 83.7, I still weigh the same, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. First of all, let me show you I can like bicep curl it, bro. Oh yeah. Chillin'. Ninety one point seven. What does that make it equal, Alex? Uh, no idea. Quick maths. I think it's eight kilos. But I, I said that out loud, now I feel dumb. I'm gonna try use this little scale real quick. It's gonna be pretty hard, but uh, I'm gonna try my best. But as of yet, it's uh, eight kilos, so we'll see what this one says, if we can balance it right. It's a balancing act. Uh, we're not really getting much, we're getting all different readings. 7.8, what's the most it goes to? Cause that's what it'll be. 7.9. You were right. 7.9, let's just, Let's just go with that. Let me, let me do it again without holding the camera as well. Alrighty, after great difficulty, I've worked out it's probably 7.95 kilograms. That's what I'm gonna draw it down to because obviously seen in the footage, it was like a little bit lighter than that, but that's because I was holding it up. But then I just balanced without holding the camera and it was around, yeah, 7.95 kilograms. So under eight kilograms, this bike is, and uh, I think I could probably get it even lighter when I get the super light chain, because chains are actually pretty pretty heavy in the aspect of when we're trying to make the lightest bike possible. We'll see what happens when I get that super light chain, but till then, that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just, uh, it was a huge investment for me, obviously making this bike, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked, and I can't wait to get some jumps cranking on this thing. I think it's gonna open up a whole new world of tricks, even though it's like only just under two kilograms lighter than my other bikes. That might not sound like a lot, but if you pick up two kilograms, it's a significant amount when you're flipping it around and stuff like that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend making a bike this light. I, I think it will be strong enough to ride and do a bunch of tricks, but I'm not gonna go jump in any big uh, stair sets or anything like that. This is gonna be more of like, what kind of scooter tricks can I pull off on this bike because it's so light? I mean, I think that some people's scooters is probably the same weight as this. 
which is super surprising. But um, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see me doing tricks on this bike and uh, maybe even give me some trick suggestions down below what you want to see me try. And uh, when I get back from overseas for a few months, I think two months I'll be overseas. First, I'm going to the USA Nitro Circus Tour and then off to X Games in China where I'm hoping to try win another gold medal uh, in BMX Big Air. And then obviously there's a Spain tour and UK tour and then I'm finally home and everything will be happening at our Willy Land and uh, I'll be sending it and I'll be able to send it on this thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next one. Peace out. Not sure.